Gordon, last year you spoke during the CIO 100 conference in Pune, where you mm -hmm. talked about the can-do mindset. Yes. Mindset, and which I believe it's also relevant these days during the COVID. We need to have like positive mindset, mm -hmm. can-do attitude. Can you elaborate more and what tips you can give to job seekers that are searching for a job during this time? So yeah, I, I think we to get that can-do mindset, we have to have belief in the solution so we we need to have um a plan that we believe in and then we need to create small steps that uh where we have a little bit of success along the way to encourage us to keep going towards our big goal and i think so first of all that's what we need to do for the can-do mindset um for, for job seekers i think one of the things i would say is that you you have to be on linkedin Mm -hmm. um, and I believe I can't remember the exact number. I I want to say eighty seven percent, but I I couldn't swear that's the right number. But something like that is the number of jobs that are filled without a advertisement. Mm -hmm. So you know, if it's eighty percent uh, as a rounder number, that means four out of five jobs are filled without the job being advertised so if yes. you're only applying to the jobs advertised you're missing out on 80 percent and the reason you're missing out is because you don't have uh the right network so go on to linkedin build a network um find out who are the people that are hiring whether it's uh, hr managers uh, senior recruiters and go and make a connection with them build that relationship, nurture that relationship, let them know you are looking. And I, and I remember one time I was out of work and a friend of mine advertised for a role and, and filled the job. Uh, and I saw him and he said to me, how are you doing? I went, oh, I'm out of work. And he said, really? I said, yeah. You know, that job that you had would have been great, but you know, you, you didn't reach out to me. So I assumed... I didn't, you know, I wasn't going to be good enough. He said, I didn't reach out because I didn't think you'd do it. Mm. So sometimes we've got, we've got to be the one that's putting our name out there, putting yes. ourselves forward. Yeah. If you, if you, you know, if you don't buy a ticket, you're not going to win the raffle. Sure. Yeah. So build that network, mm -hmm. nurture it. Um, if you're on LinkedIn, go on, go and, um, you know, if you're a, an agile project manager, go and find the discussions in and around mm -hmm. agile uh, and write about that. Join the conversations, be seen, be heard by the network. And if you do that, that will give you a, a great opportunity to apply. Mm -hmm. And also as well, if, if you see jobs where somebody, where you think you know the person that's advertising, um, sometimes go and approach that person directly, build a little right. bit of relationship and then pitch them. Yeah. I, I landed a, a, a TEDx talk, yes. which I did in French. Wow. Um, I, I did that by not by applying on the main website, but finding out who the organizer was, finding out what their interests and hobbies were. And then I approached them mm -hmm. uh, and made a connection and showed that we had things in common and then pitched him the talk and, and that allows us to get in. And we can do the same. We yeah. can do the same with jobs. We don't have to, you don't have to charge the gate of the castle. Sometimes mm -hmm. just go around the back and come through the back door. And I believe that, especially here in, in Vancouver, it's a very small community. It's all about networking. Yes. It's all, it's what, all what about you know, networking. And that's how you can find a job. But in terms of the Kendo mindset, Especially mm -hmm. nowadays, we have, have, I feel that people are having kind of a roller coaster of emotion. One day you're fine, one day you're not fine. So what can they do to keep up the, the, uh, the attitude up? So, so it's, it's difficult. Uh, and I'm not going to say I have a perfect solution because I think, I think with, with COVID, we are living in the strangest of, of times. Uh, but, but what we need to do is we just need to, as I say, you know, create a plan, and then set many milestones. And so it might be that you're going to reach out to 100 people. You're going to connect with 100 people and, and keep doing that. And, you know, maybe create a diary. One of the things yeah. that I do is I, 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 I have an Excel spreadsheet where I, I, I put down the goals. And every day I write down three successes that I've had. Yeah. And what's brilliant about that is 
some days when I've only had one success and I'm trying to think what could the other two be, it forces me to go out and create two more successes. Yes. So keep, you know, log the successes. And it's great because it's a reminder of good things that yeah. you've done. We've got, to, we've got to keep ourselves positive. Small successes, little successes, we'll, we'll keep doing that. And, um, and just personally, keep... I started uh, doing a gratitude journal online. Yeah online yes. and you can share it with other people and it helps mm. you especially in the morning when you wake up and you put that positive mindset out there it helps you the whole day to be kind of a positive of course we're humans we'll have ups and downs but we we'll sure. put positive up all the time yeah absolutely absolutely and you know take the time to celebrate the successes and and just remember that you know a lot of success mm -hmm. has a lot of a lot of failure and false starts before mm -hmm. it so so each failure it, it just brings you one step closer i think it, you know it's something like for in the sales business between five every say the 80 percent of sales are successful at the fifth at the touch between five and twenty mm -hmm. and eight and ninety percent of people stop at the third touch yeah so persistence yes. persistence is one of the greatest skills you can measure persistence is a talent multiplier yeah. it's not the first hit of the rock with the hammer that cracks it mm -hmm. you know they're all the same but yeah. at some point it's just going to shatter and, and we just have to we have to be persistent and uh, resilient great thank you for that tip gordon and again for the audience watching or listening if you have any other tips in the can do mindset of tips or job seekers please leave it in the comment section and like and share the video and tune in next time for another question with Gordon.